Hey everyone, it's Kelsey here. Today I'm going to share with you how I'm going to decorate um, these goals sheets that I printed off. Um, I purchased these from Elise Kripe's Make 29 project, which I will link up below. Um, but basically they were only $4 and for that price I can print off as many as I want. Um, so I just printed them off on some cardstock that I always have on hand from Walmart. And... Um, I have another video explaining more what the goals sheets are all about, um, so I'll just refer you to that video. I'll include a link of that down below. But for right now, I'm just kind of making them pretty because, of course, that's what I like to do. <laughs> so for each one, I use these same letter stickers. They are from the Maggie Holmes Open Book Collection, and they're from they're on that um, accent sticker sheet that you can see right there and they're just black with gold numbers on them and I just wrote 2015 on all of the pages. I, I guess I spelled it out, I didn't write it. <laughs> um, but most of the stuff that are going on these goal sheets are literally just stickers. Um, I'm just not doing anything else, keeping it really simple. I just wanted to do um, a little something, like I said, to make them pretty. And my three goals were to walk the dog more, to write a little bit every day, and to work on the channel in some way every day, which I mostly do anyway, but sometimes I will go on these like spurts where I work on the channel for uh, like a week, and then I take a week off, and then I feel like it's just not consistent. And that's truly one of my biggest goals for 2015 is just growing the channel, diversifying the channel, and just making it more of a top priority. So, um, as you can see, I'm just flipping through the sticker book mostly. I did pull out these chipboard stickers. These are also from the Maggie Holmes open book collection. And then I also pulled off the rub-ons. But like I said, I pretty much wanted to keep this very simple, very flat. I still haven't decided exactly where I'm going to put my goal sheets yet. Um, I might hang them in my office or I might make a little folder for them or keep them near my bed um, where I can keep track of them. I'm just not quite sure. Um, so I pulled off this word and I actually cut it in half. It was part of a larger phrase, but I just took out the word story because that's the page about writing more. And then I moved on to the next page. And again, I'm just going to put the year 2015 down below and those stickers. And I guess I got kind of lucky that there was enough twos, zeros, ones, and fives to, you know, make out the year three times. So, um, I won't be using 2015 out of that set anymore. <laughs> so, um, this last sheet was probably the most important one to me. This is about, um, working more on my blog and my channel. And it's, I used a lot more stickers on it. I did because this was the one where I really wanted to focus on it every single day. I know walking the dog won't happen more. Um, like it won't happen every day. Like today it was snowing out. Like we're just not going to go out in the snow probably or the rain. So I know that's not going to happen every day. That's just kind of a, you know, get out there more kind of thing. And um, the other thing about the dog is it's not about losing weight. It's about trying to make it better for the dog. So that's how I'm kind of making two goals in one because <laughs> I want to lose weight, um, as everyone seems to want to do around New Year's. But it's also about um, just making the dog's life better. So on this one, I just put a bunch of like work-related, don't quit your daydream type stickers from the Amy Tangerine Stitch Line. And that pretty much is it. So thanks for watching, guys.